flooded with news that the Australian Electoral Commission will now list GetUp as an associated uh, entity. This is under pressure from uh, conservatives such as uh, Erica Betts, which will mean that uh, its uh, funding will now be required to be disclosed. Now, uh, GetUp has long been a uh, enemy of the uh, conservative movement. It has campaigned against uh, successfully against conservative politicians such as um, Sophie Mirabella and Andrew Nicoli, and they also want to go after Peter Dutton in the in the next uh, fe federal election. Uh, now, uh, obviously, I don't agree with you know what get up campaigns on the issues that they do, such as you know immigration and climate change. But I think it's a bad move to use the force of government to go after an organisation like get up just because you disagree with what they do. Certainly, uh, I think that these things should be done, but they should be done right, and they should be done in a way that that's that's right and proper. And uh, certainly, I think that if Michaela Cash, you know, has pulled strings to make this happen, then it, it does look bad for the government. Although I did hear uh, Senator James Pattinson uh, today. At a Senate inquiry saying that a magistrate, in fact, granted the right to uh, raid the AWU. So, therefore, they're trying to say that there's there's a separation of powers. It's a member of the judiciary that made the decision. It was not, in fact, um, the uh, uh, Michaela Cash. But, but certainly the momentum, the snowball was pushed down the mountain by Michaela Cash. And... It is obviously very worrying, but I think that GetUp should have their funding disclosed. And likewise, um, I think that any uh, think tank should have their funding disclosed. There shouldn't be any caps or limits on funding to political parties or think tanks. I don't think that's a liberal. But I think that all funding should be open and transparent to the public. Um, and I, I certainly do think that that is the case with GetUp. Uh, I, I have to disagree with uh, you, you on this because, um, you know, I wouldn't want uh, the Labor Party to go uh, after organisations such as the Institute of Public, Public Affairs, which I know that uh, former uh, Labor MP Kelvin Thompson, he wanted the, the IPA's uh, donors disclosed and the, the IPA has long resisted uh, such a move. And this is why I was surprised with what you mentioned uh, James Patterson said, given that he used to be executive deputy director of the, the IPA. I think that basically regulating any, you know, com any group that can be seen to be political and uh, you know, pu uh, putting all of these, you know, conditions on how it can operate in that. I think that's, you know, very much an overreach because, you know, what do you, you know, do you, do you just classify, say, is a, you know, local uh, cl uh, cl clean-up, uh, you know, operation or because they might want, you know, people to, you know, recycle more, would that be classified as an associated entity? Like, where does it end? Like, I think I, often... You know, it's, it sounds good in theory that, you know, it should be transparent and that, but the, the compliance and, you know, the, the threats, threats on you if you don't comply is really quite onerous and takes away from, you know, what, what the organisation was, was first set up for. I, I do see the logic in that. It, it goes with the firearms debate as well, that we spend so much money on regulating and, and telling hunters, you know, how to keep their firearms and whatever, and we don't actually end up fighting uh, the illegal arms and drugs that come into the country. Now, that does bear some logic because we could be looking at uh, Get Up or uh, the IPA really firmly, but then we might spend all our money and resources on that, and then we might, we might not be looking into kind of uh, union corruption or whatever. That might go to the wayside if our resources are spent all in the one location. But certainly I do think that uh, where the government forces these or coerces uh, these institutions uh, is probably not a great idea, but I think certainly for public knowledge, uh, voluntarily uh, disclosing uh, donors uh, might bolster public credibility. 
Now, it's long speculated, or it's pretty much known, that GetUp is, in fact, funded by George Soros, billionaire, socialist, um, and the IPA has funding uh, supposedly from the likes of ExxonMobil, British American Tobacco, uh, Gina Reinhardt, and so on. So there's big money from big socialist uh, donors like George Soros, big union money going into GetUp uh, from the AWU, and there's also big government, uh, big business, sorry, uh, money going into the IPA. Now, a lot of what the IPA talks about is great, cutting regulations and so on, but there's plenty of things that are just in the benefit of big business. For instance, the Big Australia, they push Big Australia, and now that's not good for anyone or their wages or our culture. So I think that it is good to have some transparency here, uh, whether that's voluntary or the government coerces uh, big business to uh, disclose donations of over fifty or a hundred thousand dollars, that's another question. But certainly, uh, it is interesting uh, whether it is intrinsically political or whether it's the work of the judiciary. We'll just have to wait for the facts to come out on that matter. I think if the people on the right don't like Get Up and its influence, they just need to get better at grassroots campaigning. I mean, stop complaining and, you know, try and beat Get Up, you know, on the ground and in the battle of ideas. I mean, that that's the correct way to, way to do this. And it's sadly where the right has been lacking in recent years. I mean, you look at the, you know, if you just go to, um, on election day, there's, uh, there's not just, uh, you know, left-wing political parties there, there's the unions there. They're handing out. There's, they've got heaps of tro troops on the ground. Uh, they're, you know, they're, they're always, you know, launching uh, campaigns. They're very savvy on uh, social media with rallies and that. I mean, the the right ha hasn't done that very well. They they did do it well on one occasion. For example, when the carbon tax was brought in, there was a really good grassroots campaign on the right to which successfully defeated the carbon tax and was just a sign that. You know, when the right, you know, got its act together with uh, activism, it could really achieve something. So I think that get ups, you know, a, su a success. It's just a wake up call that we need to be better. Uh, or, or as Michelle Obama says, be better, be better. And you know, I completely agree with you, Tim. We definitely need to get our act together. And uh, I know that there's been uh, a lot of. Uh, discussion about creating a conservative uh, version of GetUp uh, over the years, but it hasn't eventuated yet. I would in, uh, encourage you know many people on the right, please you know don't just sit there and complain. Make sure that you know you you do uh, you know take your your activism you know beyond the internet. And as we were talking to, talking about it last week, you know like Liberty Works, that's a, a new right wing activist group that you know is really needed to counter all these uh, you know uh, left wing groups such as get up well the problem is Tim here essentially in a nutshell is that people on the right have jobs and they're not on Centrelink and they don't have heaps of time on their hands and that's why we might be seen on the right as you know less politically conscious uh, because you know we focus on the day to day we're focused on being pragmatic going to work focusing on our family and we don't essentially have as much time to uh, talk about nihilistic, neo-feminist, uh, uh, Marxist claptrap. Uh, we, we more focus on the day-to-day, -day, the pragmatic, uh, and getting things done. Uh, so that that's where I think that it might fall into a heap. But certainly, uh, I do think that there is a, a grassroots of, of university young people who have a little bit more time on their hands. I've seen this at Friedman. There were plenty of younger people there, plenty of people who have the, the passion to uh, for the activist cause of smaller government. Uh, and as Ronald Reagan once famously said, as, as the size of a government uh, expands, liberty contracts, and I think that we all need to remember that through our uh, push for liberty, push for freedom, and uh, fight against the big state. This has been an Unshackled Fast. Please like, comment, and subscribe. While you're here, grab our free ebook at theunshackledbattlefield.net 
and visit theunshackled.net for all the latest news and commentary.